Hello everyone, this is VOE with a cool new uh, design. So what I got here is a very compact, silent counter design. So what a counter is, is basically every time you press a button, the output goes to the next output. So as you can see here, I have three outputs like this. So currently the first one is on or activated. And if I'll press this button one time, so now this one is on. And if I press it again, now this one is on. And what's really special about this design is that it auto resets. So if I press the button again, it goes back to this output over here. So really nice. Uh, this design is, uh, I think, is very good. But there's only one problem with it. So this is the problem. If you have a lot of repeaters, or basically more than three. What you get is, you get the same result, but the outputs aren't in sequence. So, you can see it skipped this repeater and went to this one. If I press it again, it skips to this one. Again, skips to this one. And then it does the top part of the repeaters, so it goes to this, but on the opposite direction. Like that. So it goes to this one, then to this repeater, then to this repeater, goes back to this repeater, and so on. So the way uh, why this happens is because this design is based on a clock. So what I have here is a constantly running clock. Now the reason it's not actually constantly running is because I locked the clock so it wouldn't run. And when I press the button, I let the clock run but only for a short amount of time. So it will only go to the next repeater. So if I'll click this, you can see now this repeater is on. and the next one will be this, like this. So now only this repeater is on. And so uh, the clock goes like this, all the way and like that. And if I'll have something that will turn, let me show you, this torch, now we can see that this clock is constantly running. And to make it, <laughs> to make it work, you just put this torch here and, oh, same spot almost so now it works again so just to show you this also works with wooden buttons so it doesn't depend on the block length like this so it works with every uh, uh, with every pulse length you uh, put into it so let me show you how to build one so start things off by building a clock so first decide how many outputs you want or how many repeaters so I'm gonna go with five so I'll do like this, and then two ticks, two ticks. I'll do another two ticks like this. So three repeaters on the bottom part, and then I go like this. Put a piece of redstone in here. Put blocks like this. Redstone here, and then two, two, and that. There I have five repeaters. Now this is expandable. You can see here I have eight, and here I have three. You can. Uh, have it to go as far as you want, or basically, I th you can have it go 15 repeaters, I guess, because 15 is the rest of the limit, and it all starts from this block over here, so 15 repeaters is probably the maximum you can get. So, what you want to do now is have uh, the uh, locking mechanism, so you put like this, green blocks, and repeaters on them, pointing in each repeater, on the f on the default setting, then you put a line of redstone like this to all the repeaters, like that. So it will connect to all the repeaters. Then what you do is put a block here, torch here, block, put a block here. Uh, sorry, here. Yes, and then you put this here. Two ticks to the repeater block here, torch, torch, and now you just need to start the clock, so what you do is you power this redstone dust like this, click once, and then depower it. So now the clock is running, and you can just hook up your output, so you can have like one here, and then one here, one here, one here, and then one here, like this, so like that and now every time you click the button 
the output will go to the next repeater in a loop. So it's not actually a counter, but it, it actually is, because it's just a counter that auto resets itself. So call it whatever you want. I I'm going to call it a counter because I think what it actually does is to count. And I think the best use for it will be to count how many times you pressed and not to have an individual output for every repeater. So like have something like this. And then I want to count five, cli uh, five clicks. So it's actually four clicks. So you need this to be off at first. So you count. Uh, click once. Click twice, click uh, three times, and then on the fourth time, it actually sends a signal. So it is a counter. So that is all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, or leave a comment, and bye bye!